It took nearly one year to get Jermichael Finley back on the field, and one person was by his side through it all, his wife Courtney. Freshman year at the University of Texas. Classic story of boy meets girl. Only this girl had an extremely protective father. Literally, I kid you not, um, my dad pointed to him. He was like, Courtney, if you ever bring something like that home, he's like, I'm disowning you. So um, about two months later, that's exactly what I brought home. Good old Jermichael. Six months later, the two were madly in love and marriage was on Jermichael's mind. How many times did you ask uh, for me to marry you? A couple times, but uh, she wasn't going for it. Then uh, I guess, uh, well, for sure, one day she gave in. Within a matter of four oh, months, Jermichael Finley, the University of Texas. Jermichael got drafted, the two were married, had a baby, and moved to Wisconsin. I was about to sit up and uh, act like a uh, grown up real fast, and uh, that's what I had to do. Yeah, it was like we were babies living in an adult world for a little while, so we just had no choice but to grow up and buckle down, and it all happened so fast. And buckle down, they did, especially in October of 2010, when Jermichael suffered a knee injury in the second play of the game against the Redskins. We kind of went into surgery thinking it was a meniscus and that they were going to be able to repair it and he'd be back in three weeks. But three weeks turned into something much worse. I just remember Dr. McKenzie, the team doctor, you know, coming to talk to me after the surgery was done. He was like, hey, he's not going to be out for three weeks. He's going to be done for the entire season. And I was like, well, did you guys tell him that? And they're like, oh, no, he's just waking up. We're going to let you tell him. Determined to make a comeback, Jermichael moved to Minneapolis, where he worked with a special team of doctors to rehab his knee. I mean, we literally just lived in suitcases for like, what, I mean, five months. So it was just a really stressful time. I'd say the most stressful time yeah, ever. Yeah, for sure. Ever. Meanwhile, the Packers went on to have a remarkable time winning the Super Bowl. One of those bittersweet things, you know, you was excited that, you, that the Packers was there, but at the same time, there was some you always dreamed about and wanted to be there. So uh, you was pretty uh, teed off about that. But you know, uh, winning the Super Bowl is big, so uh, I'm excited for that. And that pass is caught, and again, turning around and beating the coverage is Finley. One year later, number 88 is out to prove he's better than ever, both on and off the field. I got a vacuum, wash clothes, like, do the dishes. But, and this, this series, it's not even, I'm not even But the like, thing is, is like you married me knowing that I wasn't good at those things. Like those I things are not my really, forte. Had... We're just both dedicated to making it last forever. So we just do what we have to do. Sometimes we duke it out, but we're still standing. Huh. High five. Jermichael's goal for the season is to get back to the Super Bowl. As for Courtney, she's ready to have another baby. We'll have to see which one comes first. In your corner, Jenny Evans, NBC 26.